Howdy, Sheriff. Something to drink? Nope, but I got something for you to post up. More trouble in these parts, huh? I swear. Thought it couldn't get any worse after that last bunch rolled in. Meeting you here, partner. Oh, why the long face? Reckon you'd be relieved to finally put this life on the lamb behind you. Honestly, a little gratitude would be appreciated. Come on, let's do this proper. Can I have people casting aspersions on the great bounty hunter, Mad Dog? No, sir. Never let it be said he shot an unarmed man in cold blood. How many times we done dance this dance now? <laughs> it's almost like saying goodbye to a lover. Bard had it right. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Son of a bitch! Finish me, goddammit! Don't you dare walk away from me again! Finish me! Whoa! How dare you! Shooting at my Goldie? Killing a man is one thing, but you leave his horse out of it. I ain't done talking! Another town.
Soy comandante de las yeguas, yo y yo solo. ¡Cállate! Howdy, stranger. Thirsty? Or, uh, you got a hankering for something more substantial? Free of charge, of course. God damn, is it hot out there! Barkeep! The usual! Hmm? Hey, stranger. Seems you're sitting on my favorite stool. Hey! You deaf or just stupid? That's enough. Your name on it? Huh? Cause I don't see it, do you? Waltzing in here, acting like you own the place, without spending a dime. We don't need that kind of customer. No, thank you. Now, Annie, darling, there's no need to make a scene. Annie! Settle down now. Don't you talk to me like that. Big, strong men. Striding around like you own the place, because of what you got dangling between your legs. Wayne! James! Clint! Cesar! You got cojones? Well, don't you? So use them! <laughs> oh, Annie. Full of fire and fury. Real Hellraiser. I love it. I mean it, darling. Be my woman. Get away from me! Annie, darling, I know you didn't just raise a hand to me. Cause there's some things a man cannot abide. Leave her alone. If it isn't the brave sheriff's little brat, here to save the day, huh? I hate to break it to you, kiddo. But I ain't got time for your shit! Whoops. Sorry about that, stranger. The boy was out of line, but I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive him. Tell you what, let me buy you a drink to smooth things over. Barkeep! Milk for my new friend. Heads up! I figure that ought to suit a delicate flower like yourself.
What's this? You spitting on my generosity? How else am I to interpret the return of this milk I see before me? And to top it off, this hangover. But that's what I get for drinking the cheap piss they serve here. Let me guess. It's not that you hate milk, but that you can't stomach it, lest it's fresh from your mother's tits. Hey! Hey! I'm talking to you! Your mother's, maybe. Huh? Huh? You got a death wish? That it? Gotcha. This isn't over, you hear me? You get yours! You just wait and see! So then... You ain't riding with the crazy bunch. That was amazing! You gave Pike a hiding he won't never forget. With him on our side, I just know we can beat them! What's all the ruckus? Sheriff, this fella here, see, he, he just rode into town and... It... Oh, now you show up. In the nick of time, as always. My father, the sheriff. The coward. <sighs> Billy, son, try to understand. If we so much as look at these people the wrong way, there's gonna be hell to pay. But if we don't take a stand, then nothing will ever change! Oh, Annie, please. I don't want to hear it. Our sheriff, my brother, Every last man in this town is a coward! This boy here's got more courage than all of you put together! Sheriff, listen. This fella here, see, he, he just might be the answer. Alas, good people. I fear you have misjudged the content of that villain's character. A man's name is a story, and that one speaks volumes. You deserve to know, so I'll tell you. The kid. Yeah, that's right. That fares the devil himself. Wait a minute. It's him. On the wanted poster.
$5,000, dead or alive. And the one who's gonna bring him in is me, Mad Dog. Liar! I am many things, boy, but I am no liar. You're a good guy, right, mister? I'm no saint. No. No! I don't believe it! <laughs> Always were lousy with the little ones, weren't you, kid? Gold is still out there, you know. Lost or dead in the desert. But you'll answer for that and everything else soon enough. Outside. Now. It's... It's a showdown! A, a showdown! showdown. Don't even think about running. Now there's a look I've never seen on you before. Oh, a pang of sadness for the end of our extended association? <laughs> I understand, I truly do. But all good things must come to an end. And end it we will, kid. From 10 paces. Each man takes five. I'll count it off. On the fifth, we turn and fire. Agreed? Right then. One. Two. Three. Four. He's one of the crazy bunch. Those two gunslingers. How'd they know? Just my luck. These simpletons ruining a perfectly good duel. Wow! You both are incredible! With them backing us up, maybe, just maybe, we can take on the crazy bunch. Listen, I guarantee there's a whole lot more of them on the way, and they'll be out for blood now. 
You've got to help us fight. Well, when you put it like that. Not that I could ever muster the strength to turn a woman down. Sorry, kid. But it seems our duel will have to wait. But only until after we've dealt with the crazy part. Crazy Bunch ain't exactly short on shooters. Dad will have a chance of beating him in a straight up fight. I tell you what, <laughs> dying heroically during a valiant last stand does not appeal to me one bit, no sir. Let's see what these folks can tell us about our would-be killers. Solo somos humildes, sin poder escapar de este pueblo, donde la sangre fluye, atrapados en la red del destino. If they've got us outnumbered, then we'll just have to even the odds before the big soiree. We ambush them, kid. We've got to prepare traps and whatnot to whittle down the gang when they ride in. That's how we'll win. Having said that, Feels a bit improper for us to do all the work, given that this is as much your fight as it is ours, if not more. I'll help. Me too. I suppose I'll do what I can. Count me in. Honey. We already know nothing will change if we keep our heads down and stay quiet. I say enough is enough. Better to take a stand, come what may. But, honey, it's... it's not... She's right. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of them pushing us around. What about you, Cesar? Well, yeah, yeah, I've had it up to here with them, too. It's happening. I, I knew they would. Then, my friends, the time has come. La libertad y justicia, los mariachis se unen a la revolución. <laughs> like something out of a fairy tale, isn't it? I believe the only one who has yet to declare their intentions is you, Sheriff. What 
are you doing with your father's badge? Here, mister. You deserve it. My pa... My pa ain't fit to wear that badge. time. Terrified of what might happen if I dared do the right thing. But now I see. Sometimes you've got to brave the fire to forge a brighter future. They may call you the kid, but to me, here and now, you're a good man. The right man for the job. So hold on to that badge. And when the dust has settled, I pray I'll have done my part to earn it back. Not much left to discuss then, I reckon. Me and the kid will scrounge up supplies at the ambush. No point in asking y'all for help. I wager we have a bit more experience with this sort of work. Time is of the essence, kid. Can't spend too long rummaging around, either. Or we'll run out of time to prepare. Of advice, kid. Remember this moment. Save the memory if you take my meaning. In case it all goes sideways.
our spell. Mighty fine horse you got there, kid. After I click. in a bottle makes for a quick and easy way. It'll take a moment to prepare. Reckon it's worth... Yeah. Okay. Let me show... There you go. Bottle fire. Just light her up and toss quick. Second bell. Third bell. Oil in a bottle makes for a... It'll take a moment to... Yeah. Okay. Let me show you how it's done. There you go. Bottled fire. Just light her up.
fourth bell, kid. Fifth bell. Everything you need for your ambush? Yeah. Good. Then it's time to distribute your supplies to the folks here. It goes without saying that some will take longer than others to get things ready. So hurry. Time's a wasting. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? What kind of trap you thinking? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? trap you thinking? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap you thinking? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? This place at its peak. Six bell. Need you to set a trap. 
What kind of trap are you thinking? What kind of trap are you thinking? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? Get or get up. Seventh bell. Seventh bell! Somos tres habildosos. Need you to set a trap. What kind of trap are you thinking? So hurry. my train of thought there. Hey, kid. That's the eighth bell.
Thank God, finally. After three days and three nights of walking through the desert. Civilization! At long last, see what? The good Lord hasn't forsaken us. You will come outside and present yourselves to me at once. Refuse, and we will treat you as we would any other pests and smoke you out of your burrow. Mister? It's time, Mad Dog. You got that right. I've been waiting to look this devil in the eye. I'm coming too. Today is not the day for you to find your courage. Should the worst come to the worst, should the two of us be killed, it falls to you to protect these people. But you won't be killed, right kid? Of course not. Go get him! It is you, then. You who educated Pike and his brothers so deftly in the ways of war. I owe you a debt for the generosity you showed my disciples. We are men of violence, yes, but we are nevertheless men. And so, I will repay you in our common currency. In blood, and lead, and death!
gotcha. You and your town will be dust in the wind come tomorrow. Your best? There you go. Hey, shit yet. Mister? As I live and breathe, did he just turn into a horse? Lord have mercy. It's true. Until Odeo came along, story was that the Sioux and Cheyenne had massacred Custer Seven. Not a man survived. But a single Union horse did. And they said he was death itself. And maybe they were right. Born of those fallen soldiers. Something cruel and primal. 
He never slept, they said. Never slept and would never die. I don't know how to thank you, kid. Or maybe I do, stranger. That's all well and good for you, but not for me. You neither, kid. We've got unfinished business, you and I. That's right. Stop it! Please! You beat Odio together, didn't you? Stay out of it. This is between me and him. Ain't that right, kid? Yeah. Okay, then. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> God damn, you're fast. Have to go so soon? Yeah. I'm not sure what to say at times like this, but I suppose I ought to thank you. Oh, I'll do it. Thank you for everything, Mister. Actually, if I can ask you for something? If it's about the badge, it's okay. I don't need it anymore. Just a piece of cheap tin in the end. I reckon I can serve these people as their sheriff well enough without it. bits of loose gold. But if you want it, it's yours. Will you take it? I don't want your money. Huh? Really? It's been a long, long time since I had the chance to do something good and decent. That's reward enough. Oh, kid. Let's go. 
gotta be him. That man there once made a name for himself as the fastest lawman in the West. But as his legend grew, more and more gunslingers hoping to make their own came calling. It came to a head when a gang of outlaws rode through his town, leaving all manner of tragedy in their wake. Not long after, he vanished, and then a bounty was put up for a theretofore unheard of renegade. A fortune to tempt the greedy to follow him into the desert. A means to make amends or earn a final reprieve. The kid.